Manufacturers are joining the new hypercar categories like crazy. We already have 12 hypercar entries confirmed for either the WEC or IMSA, and hopefully more confirmations will be coming soon. But you may have noticed partnerships with manufacturers and teams starting to appear. For instance, Porsche and Penske confirming a collaboration or Chip Ganassi and Cadillac collaborating. So for this video, I will break down the teams running the hypercar entries to find out exactly which team is running what. We will first start out with IMSA. For the 2023 GTP class, we will see four different manufacturers and 11 teams on the grid, with Lamborghini joining in 2024 to make it five confirmed manufacturers. Let's first start out with Porsche. The main Porsche team will be run by Team Penske, Penske has collaborated with Porsche before, back when they raced the Porsche LMP2 RS Spider, and will again partner with Porsche, running their LMDH 963. Penske is a very well-known team, having raced in the IndyCar Championship and in NASCAR, so it's great to see that Porsche and Penske are partnering up once again. Porsche also has two customer teams running a single LMDH entry each. JDC Miller is one, and Proton Competition is the other. Both will join the GTP class at Laguna Seca. Cadillac has two teams in the GTP class in 2023. Chip Ganassi Racing has one full-time entry, and a second entry that will appear at Daytona, and later will race in the WEC, which we will talk about soon, where Action Express Racing will run the other full season VLMDH. Acura also has two teams competing in the GTP class this year. Meyer Schenk Racing and Wayne Taylor Racing will be the two teams running the ARX 06. Both teams have ran Acura's prototypes in the past, so they already are familiar working with Acura. BMW, who returns to prototype endurance racing, will have Ray Hall Letterman Lennigan Racing running a pair of LMDH entries in 2023. RLL previously ran BMW's cars in the GT classes, so the American team already has experience working with the German manufacturer. So those are the 11 teams that will race in the 2023 season. Lamborghini will join in 2024, and their LMDH entries will be run by Iron Lynx. Iron Lynx will have experience working with Lamborghini before taking over the Italian Marks LMDH entries in 2024 as they will run the GT3 entries in the 2023 IMSA season. Let's now move over to the World Endurance Championship. And I wanna first start off by saying that the LMH entries of Toyota, Glickenhaus, and Peugeot all have their own teams running their entries. In the WEC, Porsche Factory WEC entries will also be entered by Team Penske, and they will be supplying customer 963s to the 2022 LMP2 champions Jota Sport and Proton Competition, who will also run a 963 in the World Endurance Championship. Cadillac's full season entry will be run by Chip Ganassi, and this is the same car and driver lineup that will participate at Daytona in 2023. The two full season IMSA entries will also come over to the World Endurance Championship, to race in the famous 24 Hours of Le Mans. Lamborghini's 2024 prototype will see Iron Lynx, the team that's running IMSA prototypes, will come over to the World Endurance Championship and race the WEC variants of the LMDH entries. Alpine's 2024 LMDH entry will be run by Signatech. Signatech and Alpine have partnered before, when the A480 Alpine raced in the hypercar class, most recently in 2022. Ferrari's two 499Ps that will race in the 2023 WEC season will be run by AF Corsa. AF Corsa is famous for working with Ferrari in the past, as they ran their GTE Pro entries up until the end of 2022, giving Ferrari many GTE championships. Isota Fraschini's LMH, that is expected to make its debut in 2023, will be run by Vector Sport, who are a British team that previously ran an LMP2 team in the WEC. Now, they make the step up to the hypercar class with Isota Fraschini. 
Finally, BMW's WEC entry that will be entered in 2024 will be run by WRT Racing. The Belgian squad, who also ran in LMP2, will make the step up to hypercar in the 2024 season, racing the M-Hybrid V8. So there's the analysis on who will be running the hypercar entries for the years to come. Which team are you supporting as we come into the 2023 or 2024 seasons? Let me know down in the comments section. If you would like to see more endurance content on the WEC and IMSA, stick around, subscribe to the left to see more content like this, and if you want to watch more, click the suggested video to the right of your screen. That's it for me, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.